So how do you like the new gun room? Yeah, I know it's a little rough, but hey, it's amazing what a fresh coat of paint can do for a place. <laughs> yeah, that's about the same reaction I got from Mrs. River when I showed her the rest of the house and told her, hey, it's ready for us to move into. She said, but it doesn't have running water. I said, yeah, it does. The creek's right out back. The water's running. She didn't see the humor in that. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually the future gun room. Obviously, I've still got a lot of work to do, but, and that's why I haven't made a video for quite a while. I've been busy. I've been working on this hard. Okay, and I'm going to stay working on this hard because I want to get this done. And not just because I don't want to spend from now on working on this. I want to get this done because I think the bottom's about to fall out of the economy. And I want to get the house I'm living in now, my current house, sold before the real estate market collapses, which... Honestly, I don't know that I'm going to make it. All right, we'll find out. Okay, now, just because I think the bottom's about to fall out of the economy absolutely does not mean it will. And I've been thinking, hey, the potential's there for this for a long time, but I think just, this has gone about as far as it can. And thus far, my predictions on inflation uh, seem to have been pretty good. Okay, well, the inflation's taking its toll now, and people are just out of money. Credit's got, there's record debt right now among individuals, among corporations, and among the U.S. government. Everybody's borrowed just about all they can. All right, well, there ain't but one direction to go from here, and it's generally not a good. As a result, I think here soon, six months, next week, I, year, two years from now, who knows, I think our firearms are going to become valuable in a way that they have not been in decades, since the Great Depression. Okay, well, I think we're going to need them for protection and seriously in ways that we haven't needed them in decades, because when the bottom falls out of the economy, crime goes up. Okay, and all of us are we're going to have different security needs, just depending on where we live, our individual location. Um, even within a city, okay, or around a city, people that live within the city itself are going to have different needs than people that live outside of the city in more rural areas. Okay. Houses in the more rural areas tend to have a lot of crime also. Those tend to be easy targets for people looking to looking for a home to break into to just steal stuff especially if you're gone at work during the day or something and they know it okay the homes are isolated there's nobody to see them in the cities crimes just tend to be more violent it's, again it depends on each location and of course so many cities right now having adopted policies of prosecuting honest law-abiding people and praising criminals, well, that's not going to work well, especially when the bottom falls out of the economy. All right, those places are going to see crime on a new level. Okay, and we're also going to need our firearms for food. All right, and that's not going to be big game. The big game initially, yeah, but that's going to, they're going to get wiped out pretty quick when people are hungry. That's just historically what happens, and then people are, they're hunting small game. Squirrels, rabbits, raccoons, possums, anything they can get. Okay, and my great grandpa, his favorite possum recipe was take a possum, nail it to a two by four, put it in a pan with potatoes and onions, throw it in the oven, 375, three hours, take it out, and throw away the possum and eat the two by four. <laughs> he hated possum, but he ate them. Okay, that's a very real possibility. But we'll see. Hopefully not. Okay, yeah, those two things alone, they're going to make firearms useful in a way they haven't been for years. I, mean, they, I think we need to be prepared for that. Okay, and I think we also need to do everything we can to get our financial lives in order right now. Okay, debt-free, if possible. I know it's not possible for everybody, but thinking of our homes as a place to be productive rather than a place to impress the neighbors. 
Okay, and when I say productive, historically homes were where people produced things. Because uh, that's where they produced, that's where they brought in raw materials into a kitchen and processed those raw materials into, they would either process it for storage, such as canning, or they would actually convert it into meals, that thing they used to call cooking. <laughs> Kitchens were meant to be productive. Well, so was the rest of the house. That's why back in the day, up, up until what, 1940s, Store owners, they lived above the store. That's why so many stores on Main Streets, all of them, the old Main Streets, they had a second story. That was the living quarters. So many gas stations back then had a second story. Okay, we need to be thinking about how to make our homes productive again. Okay, for so many of us now, our homes are a liability. We're not using them to be, to be productive and the overhead of just maintaining a home now is just, that's part of what's going to drive the country into the ground. All right, I, trust me, I know right now about the cost of materials and th labor and anything you want to do with the home at the moment. And it seems like every quote I get right now on anything is $10,000. I don't care what it is, it's going to be around $10,000. You want a roof? $10,000. Side. $10,000. Electrical, $10,000. And that's just for us to give you an estimate. <laughs> I got a quote on a house. I had a rental house. I sold it. I got a quote to have it rewired. Four room house, small home. Quotes for $12,000. Okay, that's why I'm doing this myself. Okay, and a buddy of mine, he, he's a contractor, and I got him to. Give me just a ballpark figure of what it would cost me to have this done if I were paying him or somebody else, a contractor, to do it all. And he said, right around $150,000. Okay, I'm figuring I'm going to come out for under fifty when all said and done for the same work. Now, who knows? I don't know that. Um, but I'm just saying everything now is so expensive. The overhead is so expensive on everything now. And a lot of people just don't realize it until they go to have a, their central air unit replaced. $10,000 or have to have a new roof or whatever. Okay, so my suggestion for everybody is just get things in order for what appears to be coming. And then if it doesn't, hey, well, you're ready and just in case, I mean, we don't buy insurance just because we know something bad's going to happen. We buy insurance just in case. Well, that's what I'm suggesting right now. Just think about taking out some insurance just in case and get ready. Okay, now, hopefully I'll have time to actually make a, a real gun video here before too long. And I've got a lot of interesting things I want to get back to. But, and it'll probably be before this is finished. <laughs> I'm hoping, to, seriously hoping to have this done by the end of summer and actually moved in here. We'll find out. God bless and have a great day.